Casablanca expert Chet Davis here to guide you through a, a strong sense, show you what's included in my new Bogart version 4 intensive tutorial. We'll spend a lot of time going through the interface, but we're also going to spend some time covering the buttons, the connectors. What are the connectors on the front and rear of your Bogart Casablanca? Where do you connect your monitors, HDMI, DVI? What's the difference between a 6-pin and 4-pin FireWire connector? In fact, one of the biggest questions people have is, how do you connect your new HD monitor? So I'll show you how to do both single and dual monitor setup, and you'll get my recommendations for the best setup for optimum viewing and editing experiences. We're also going to go through all the different features and functions. There's so many functions inside the system settings menu and inside the project settings menu. Some of them are for your convenience, but some of them really can affect how much success you're going to have with a project, particularly the resolutions and the progressive interlay settings inside the project settings menu. I'll carefully explain each and every one of those so you'll have a full understanding of how that impacts your project. There's a bunch of new stuff that's brand new to Bogart version 4. For example, this setting right here that lets you adjust how much of the Casablanca editor is going to show up on side the raster or on side your monitor screen. So it's, if you don't know how to do this, it's kind of tricky to figure out, but I'm happy to share with you. I'll also show you how to connect up point-and-shoot cameras that also do video, flip video cameras, uh, your other video cameras, and how you set up your project settings and the record window so you can import files. So here you see an example of me importing an AVCHD file off of a consumer level point-and-shoot video camera. So there's some really nice capabilities that are both convenient and also important for today's videographers as far as bringing in footage both from your own equipment and from your clients or your colleagues. Not only from cameras, but I'm going to show you how to import video files from other sources like uh, flash drives and uh, external hard drives. Here you see me importing some video files from a Kingston Data Traveler USB flash drive. A really cool function and brand new in the Bogart 4 environment. We're going to spend a lot of time as well in the edit menu, since that's where a lot of people spend a lot of time on their video editing projects. It's important to understand how to use the um, auto split and the manual split. Here we're working through the split functions. Um, how to trim and use all the features and functions from the single window view to the dual window view that you're seeing right here into the four menu views. We're going to play inside the edit menu in the special submenu and inside the new submenu. It's important that you understand the Casablanca image pool. So much you can do there, as well as the Casablanca color requester, archiving your own personal colors, how to pick colors from scenes and embed those in your titles. And then there's the really cool feature, one of my favorites. I'm kind of giving you a heads up here. It's called Pattern 2, and that gives us the ability to import quality graphics like logos and images that our art director provides us or that you're able to create on the internet and bring that in and perfectly adjust that and set that up as an overlay on top of your video scenes. Very cool. We'll play with the features and functions inside the edit menu regardless whether you use the single line view or the multi-line view that you see here and I'll show you how to set that up. There's a bunch of capabilities inside the storyboard. So it's important you understand how to use the, the insert functions and the new capabilities to show how you can benefit from the background and the insert preview functions. I'll even take you in and show you how to use two of the kind of intermediate level software products that are included in your Bogart OS. Here I'm showing how to use the blue box function, otherwise known as chroma key. I also play with and show you how to use the picture in picture, which is the basic PIP function inside of the Casablanca Bogart operating system. And then we'll work our way in to the title menu. Uh, people like to create clean looking, impressive looking, beautiful titles. So we're going to go through the features and functions from the page options to the box options to putting in backgrounds to putting in color graphics inside your titles how to import new fonts, true type fonts, how to import text files, and how to arrange them on screen and get them to appear just exactly where you want and where you need. There's a lot of capabilities inside of the current version of the titler 
running in the Bogart version 4 operating system and I'd love to show you how to you know adjust and set up each and every one of them so that your titles look just the way you want to to impress your audiences. And then there's my favorite menus, the audio menus. In Audio Record and Edit, I'll walk you through how to get all kinds of audio into your Casablanca editor, from the ability to import WAV and MP3 files via CD or disc, to the ability to connect outside devices. For example, maybe you want to connect your smartphone to your Casablanca and know how to get an interview or how to get a, a music track off. I'll show you the right connections to use on the back as well as the settings inside the menu to be able to import your audio. We'll play with the trim and the split and the special effects and then show how you can bring them over to the audio mix window to create a simple or even a more complex mix function with the range functions, with the timeline functions, with the ability to add your effects. We'll go in and we'll play with the audio envelope that you're seeing here with the ability to precisely adjust frame by frame volume or even to extract or mute an offensive or otherwise undesirable sound in the middle of an audio clip. And then I'll show you how to use the brand new powerful really cool looking features and functions inside of the Casablanca Bogart version 4 timeline mix menu. This timeline view function inside of the audio mix menu provides a really cool look and layout. The ability to drag and drop your audio samples, your audio elements, the ability to adjust the envelope while in the mix window without even launching the envelope, and the ability to access this cool pull down menu with 12 different functions. Easily understood after you work with the Casablanca expert. I'd be delighted to show you how to use this new layout. And then there's this new button here called Sample that's actually fairly complex, like an intermediate advanced lesson, but I know you'll be up to it with my teaching by your side. It shows you how to create two, three, four, even six tracks of audio and compress them into a single track. Moving towards the end of the tutorial, we work in the Finish window. Here I show you how to add the graphic. You can import a a graphic uh, called a bug or a watermark. It can be your logo or a client's logo that goes over your whole video. And then in DVD Arabesque, the questions lots of people have with the contemporary systems is how can I burn an HD project onto a standard DVD? And then Chet, please teach me how to burn my high definition video project onto a Blu-ray DVD. I go through that and more, including a brief instruction in the wizard function of Arabesque in this comprehensive, intensive tutorial on the Bogart version 4 operating system. Now I should say there's a complete and separate DVD focused just on Arabesque with more than two hours of instruction on that specific software. Then we spend a little bit of time with an introduction to the Casablanca Media Manager, showing you what the function of the archives is for, how you can move audio, video, and photos between the editing side and what's called the Media Manager side. And I'm going to show you two useful functions that I think you might enjoy. How to import photos using the Media Manager, and then how to export a video file out to the Media Manager to upload to YouTube or Vimeo or another channel. All this and more in the Bogart version 4 intensive tutorial available right now in the Casablanca Expert online store.